Okay, now that we've got a logical volume created, let's talk about extending that logical volume. So here's what I want to do. Let's start with an LV, LV display. And remember, I'm doing this as root to LV display. There we go. So I have my 100 megabytes in my uh, logical volume. The VG display shows me that I actually have, let me specify VG sales, shows me that I actually have a bunch of space available. I've got 127 gigabytes. Now, let's say I wanted to extend my uh, volume to use more of this available space. So my command, and again, it has to be done as root, is going to be LV extend. So logical volume extend. I'm going to specify the name of the volume, and it's going to be dev forward slash VG dash sales, which is going to be my volume group forward slash LV dash sales, which is going to be the name of my logical volume. I want to do, uh, I want to extend it by, and I'm going to say I want 50%, 50% of my available free space to go there. So that resizes my logical volume. So you can see size of logical volume changed from 100 megabytes to 63.55 gigabytes, which is about half of 127 gigabyte um, vol uh, logical volume. So, or volume group. So that makes sense, right? Now, there is one thing though. If I do a disk free DF dash H, you're going to see that this is actually still only running at 93 megabytes. That's because I've extended the volume, but I haven't extended the file system. So I'm gonna to have to do that as well. I'm gonna to have to resize my file system. So my command is resize to FS, and I'm gonna specify the one that I wanna resize. And I need this whole name. You'll notice this name is a little bit different than what I used farther on up. That's because well, we've got dashes in it. So I want to use this full name. So dash dev forward slash mapper forward slash VG dash dash sales dash LV dash dash sales. And that should resize my file system. So now if I do a disk free dash H, you're going to see that that is all right, 62 gigabytes or about half of 127 gigabyte a uh, hard drive. So, which was what I had in my volume group. Now, one of the real big benefits of logical volume management, LVM, is that it enables us to extend volumes across physical disks. So, if you remember, and they issued the command lsblk, and this is going to show me all of my block devices. So I have SDA, SDB, SDC, and SDD. SDC is part of my volume group, uh, VG sales. Okay, cool. And for that matter, it's also part of that, or it's being used for the logical volume sales or LV dash dash sales. Now I want to add SDD to my, uh, volume group as well. So, and I can see, and always double check this, by the way, because remember, these will sometimes change on you. So always make sure that you double check that you, you're working with the right uh, physical disk. Now, I've already created the right identifier for the disk. So I've already created the disk, or the disk as a uh, physical volume using the PV create. So I can do PV display forward slash dev forward slash SDD. And I can see that this is indeed a physical volume used for logical volume management, but it hasn't been assigned to a volume group. So my command is going to be VG volume group extend. And I want to extend my volume group to include dev SDD. Now, um, And for some reason, it didn't like my VG extend command. VG extend forward slash dev forward slash SDD. Ah, duh. It'd help if I actually looked at it, right? 
I need to identify which volume group I want to extend. So it's going to be VG dash sales. Extend VG dash sales with that device. Hey, what do you know? That worked way better. All right. So I want to display my volume group now. VG display for VG sales. And now we're going to see that we have one logical volume. We've got two phys physical volumes now associated with us. So that's kind of awesome. And notice our overall size now is 253 gigabytes. So now what I want to do is I want to extend my logical volume again. And this time I want to extend it to use up all of the space. Because remember, if I do LV display for LV dash sales, well, let's just do an LV display. And we're going to see that my volume group LV dash sales is using up 64 gigabytes. So I want to extend it to do all of that. So my command, remember, we did it just a minute ago is LV extend. So logical volume extend. The name is going to be dev. So the name of my logical volume dev VG dash sales forward slash LV dash sales and I want to extend this one this time I want to extend it to use and add 100 percent of whoops 100 percent of free space and that changes it from 65 gigabytes so half of the first disk to the entire size of the logical volume uh, volume group extended across two different disks uh, and remember it df dash h is going to show me that i haven't resized my file system yet so it's resize to fs and then i need the full name dev mapper vg dash dash sales dash lv dash dash sales and that should resize my file system and notice i've done all of this without actually taking the system down right i haven't rebooted anything i can do this while people are actually using it which is pretty awesome and then my df h is going to show me that my vg sales my volume groups or logical volume sales on my vg sales uh, volume group is now that full size of both of those hard drives that are part of my volume group Okay, so we have extended a logical volume. We have extended the volume group and then re-extended the logical volume to use up all available space. Now, these are just a few things that you can do with logical volume management. Remember that we, we're working with a really basic, um, just a linear volume. Remember that you have all of those options for redundancy. We're also going to look at, in subsequent videos, uh, removing volumes and maybe even taking a look at snapshots with logical volume management.